follow less if you prefer less long answers. Okay, L stands for let statement, E for equation, S for solve, and another S for solution. Let statement. Let statement is when you say let x to be blah blah blah. For example, let x to be the width of a walkway. Equation. For example, equation is 2x plus 14 equals 4x minus 6. Solve. Solving 2x plus 14 equals 4x minus 6. To get rid of plus minus 6, add 6 to both sides. So it's going to be 2x plus 14 plus 6 equals 4x minus 6 plus 6. If we simplify that, it's going to be 2x plus 20 equals 4x. Then we want to get rid of 2x, so we're going to subtract 2x from both sides. It's going to be 2x minus 2x plus 20 equals 4x minus 2x. It becomes 20 equals 2x. If you can do this in your head, it becomes uh, the 20, 20, 2x plus 14 equals 4x minus 6 becomes 14 plus 6 equals 4x minus 2, and it becomes 20 equals 2x. Sure. Solution. Example of the solution is, therefore, or three dots, the root is 10. Framing problems. The basic form of framing problem is that you are given these clues, the perimeter of the external frame, width of an internal frame, and length of an internal frame. And you have to figure out the width of a frame. The basic equation of a framing problem. Let L be the length of an internal internal frame. Let W be the width of an internal internal frame. Let P be the perimeter of an external frame. And let X be the width of a frame. The basic equation would be 2 bracket L plus X plus 2 bracket W plus X equals P. So here we're going to let x represent the width of the walkway. So there the width is x. And the dimensions are 10 meters by 5 meters. So the equation here is 2, and then in brackets 5 plus 2x, and bracket plus 2, brackets again, 10 plus 2x. And that equals 54. So here we're going to use the distributive rule on the brackets. The distributive rule is when you multiply the outside number by the inter inside numbers. So by using the distributive rule, 2 times 5 is 10, then 2 times 2 is 4, so it's 4x. And using the distributive rule again is 2 times 10, so that's 20, plus 2 times 2x, so that's 4x. And that equals 54. So next, you have to put it in order of variables and constants. So it's 4x plus 4x equals 10, or plus 10 plus 20. And that equals 54. So now you have to simplify it. So 4 plus 4x is 8x, and then 10 plus 20 is 30, and that equals 54. So to isolate the variable, you have to move 30 over by changing, um, by changing the sign. So it's 54 minus 30, and that equals um, 24. So 8x equals 24. And now you have to divide both sides by 8. So 8x divided by 8 and 24 divided by 8. So x equals 3. So therefore... The width of the walkway is 3 meters. Thank you. So we're going to let x represent the width of the frame. So that is x. And then the measurements are 45 centimeters and 20 centimeters. Then the other width is also x. 
So then the equation would be 20 plus 2x. And the equation up here would be 45 plus 2x. This time the equation would be 2 bracket 45 plus 2x plus 2 bracket 20 plus 2x. So the equation would be 2 in brackets 20 plus 2x plus 2 plus 45 plus 2x. And then that equals 170. And you use distributive rule. So you multiply the 2 by the brackets, so then it's 40 plus 4x plus 90 plus 4x equals 170. And then you put the constants and the variables together, so it's 4x plus 4x plus 90 plus 40, and that equals 170. And then if you add it up, it's 8x plus 130 equals 170. And then you isolate the variable by moving the 3 to the other side, and then the operation changes. So it's 170 minus 130, and then it's 8x equals 40. And then you divide it by 8, so then it's x equals 50. Therefore, x or the the frame's width is 5 centimeters